company don't do well enough, they get a speaker to talk about how good Formula One is doing on sustainability or what is Formula One road to net zero is, but they don't look on what they do internally and how that as well could be passed on to the employees and the employees could be really proud of this. Breaking into a male-dominated environment uh, was not easy per if perceived from outside, but was work as normal for me. Uh, I'm an engineer by background, so and uh, what I was doing there is actually analyze the data and uh, uh, work with the cars. That is what I studied for. Um, it was a bit daunting uh, when I uh, went into Formula One in the international scene. I think at national level, I'm from Italy, so at national level, we had a number of women already in motorsport. When I back in the late 90s, we had uh, women that were tracky, that was uh, team managers, uh, um, that, were, that were like logistic managers. So at, uh, um, I would say, country level, Italy, like there was quite a good uh, set of women. It's only when I step into the international uh, races as Formula One that I was the first one doing an engineer role that I was a bit daunting. But at the same time, I was doing my job. So uh, and I knew that I could do my job. So it just uh, like someone said to me, put your head down and just uh, work a lot and uh, make sure that uh, you prove yourself and then there is no problem. And that was the case from very initial thought about everybody um, saying, oh, you're a woman. Are you sure you're OK in this job to actually um, achieve um, achieve what I have achieved. Like uh, I'm one of the gang, I, I've worked really hard and everybody has recognized uh, what uh, I was doing there and everybody was respecting you for, uh, for the work you were doing and treating uh, you like one of the boys. So definitely representation can be improved, uh, especially in STEM. Um, there is uh, a research that the kids in primary um, 50, it's 50-50, it's like even girls like uh, STEMs and, and I think it's only when they grow into the secondary and uh, um, it is a bit, uh, a bit that, that, uh, that data has changed, that, that data has changed. But I do really think that initiative like uh, Girls on Track or There To Be Different are fundamental to actually trying to get more girls into STEM. Uh, is the old motto, if you can see it, you can be it. So, uh, girls need to be encouraged to do this uh, um, and also they need to have more role models to look up and to say, well, she's an engineer, so I can be an engineer. Um, and gir the Girls on Track exists since uh, 2019 now. Um, and we can see the girls coming through and go to secondary and starting to do uh, more maths and more uh, um, triple science, so more more subjects because they want to go to university, they want to be an engineer. Equally, the girls that uh, we first met with uh, um, there to be different, some of them now they are Loughborough University and then they are doing engineer and one of them actually is doing an internship uh, in uh, one of the F1 teams. So you can see that uh, those initiatives are actually creating the next generation of engineers. So if we increase uh, the pyramid and if we do more of this initiative, I'm really confident that uh, we can actually increase the pyramid of the women's in motorsport. So I think, uh, um, well, I'm hoping that the audience will take away a few, a few tips really. The fact that data are really important, especially to have a strategy for tackle climate change. Uh, the other things that uh, motorsport is not different from any other industry and some of the learning that we've done there in terms of technology, in terms of sustainability, in terms of changing things can actually apply for, for, to companies. Um, and the other things that I normally point out to all the company that I spoke with, um, they all have done something amazing, but they haven't possibly showcased that uh, well enough. So I'm always trying to really um, make sure that 
make sure that also the audience take away what an amazing place is the company they work with and how that company has actually fostered sustainability or diversity and inclusion and uh, what's the, the view of that company because it's really important the sense of belonging to actually make changes but it's also really important to know where the company where you are is in this journey to net, net zero and and compare with others and that is something that company don't do well enough they get a speaker to talk about how good formula one is doing on sustainability or what is formula one road to net zero is but they don't look on what they do internally and how that as well could be passed on to the employees and the employees could be really proud of this.